Hello everybody, in this video I'll be painting the suffocating grave type and the spell. As usual I start off with a base coat of Chaos Black from a rattle can. Next through an airbrush I apply a coat of German Camouflage Black Brown over the entire model. Uh, you can use a regular brush for this if you want. Next, using khaki brown again through an airbrush, I highlight the model. If you don't own an airbrush, you can uh, do this by dry brushing as well. I use the airbrush to speed up these uh, first couple of layers a bit. Once dry, I use Agrax Earthshade and I wash the, uh, the entire model with it. I mix this up with roughly 50% water. I just apply some of the, of the wash to the model and then I pick up some water and I spread it out over, over the model. Once dry, I use hemp and dry brush the, um, the upper parts of the, of the model with this. Next, using dark grey blue, I'm going to block in all the little rocks spread over this model. Then, using medium sea grey, I dry brush these rocks. Uh, it's okay if you go a little bit outside of the actual rock. Uh, it, it's not really going to matter. It will just create an appearance of a bit more smaller uh, rock rubble surrounding the bigger rocks. Then using grey, I repeat this process to strengthen the color up a bit more. I then used old copper to block in the golden panels that are lying around on the model. These parts are then washed using right and flesh shade. Uh, with this color instead of Agrax Earth Shade, the, the gold will get a bit of more of a warmer tone to it. Then using, using Retributor Armor, I dry brush the golden parts. Then using duck egg green through the airbrush again, I block in the skull parts on the on the model. And this is then followed by a top-down highlight using white. I do this at roughly a 45 degree angle, just hitting the front of the skull, going down to its uh, upper jaw roughly. And for this, uh, for the previous two layers it goes that it um, doesn't really matter if you hit the areas in between a little bit, it will enhance the effect later on. Then I make a mixture of one part peeled tan green and one part airbrush thinner and I go over the skulls a couple of times. Doing this in bursts, not in one straight go. I'm making sure that um, the, the mixture isn't going to pool in areas. Then I make a mixture of Corellia 
green shape uh, again with a 50-50 a mixture with uh, airbrush thinner and go from the bottom upwards to the, against the skulls again and that already finishes up this model um, after a dull coat I applied some tufts and some flowers to the base and this is the end result so I hope you like this uh, this short little tutorial thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye